I help someone who was a fresh graduate from an IT degree get their first penetration testing job. So I decided to create this video to share with you the advice that I've given to this individual and their journey and how they managed to land their first penetration testing job. So penetration testing or ethical hacking is one of the most sought after jobs. Most of us when we got into cybersecurity, we had this nice idea that we will be hacking into systems, maybe hacking into mobile phones and managing to sort of see how data or information can be stolen and being cybersecurity professionals, we give advice to companies and individuals on how they can best protect their data. However, landing a penetration testing job is very, very challenging. Everyone needs experience because it's one of those extremely hands-on jobs and people who work in penetration testing are extremely busy individuals. So landing your first penetration testing job is a big deal. Uh, I was approached by someone who was an international student studying a bachelor's of IT in Australia. Uh, he told me that he finished his degree and he's just landed his job doing help desk. Help desk is just an IT support. So he was doing phone support, helping people fix their laptops and computers. He's been in that job for I think a month and a half when he approached me. So this individual was not only an international student, he also had a heavy thick accent. So the chips were really stacked against him. And he told me that he was very passionate about penetration testing and very interested to get, to get into it. So his first question was, do you know someone who can get me a job? And my answer to him was that, well, what have you done to become a pen testing? Like you say you're, a pas you're passionate about penetration testing, show me that you've done something to prove it so that's when he went quiet and I was like okay so if you're really interested in penetration testing go do this certificate which will be the first certificate I recommend to you it's Elan security junior penetration testing certificate don't be fooled the name has junior in it but it's not an easy certificate and the reason why I recommend it to people is because doing this certificate you don't need any background like I know people are worried should I do a CCN FS should I you know do all these 10 20 certificates before I even start no this certificate assumes that you know nothing and it will teach you basically uh, how to even like you know connect to the virtual machine how to conduct your first test and there is a lot of good information in it so it's a lab based certificate um, I know some people who've done it in 30 days this individual was extremely inexperienced um, he just had his bachelor's he didn't have much hands-on so I think it took him about three months to do it but he put his his, his head down and and he went on and, stud and, and studied the certificate and passed it. I told him, do not contact me un until you have passed the certificate. And on he went. He spent, like, I even nearly forgot about him when he when I told him that. Like, three months later, I got a message from him out of the blue saying, hey, you remember me? I asked you about pen testing and you recommended Elan Security Junior Pen Test. I just wanted to let you know that I've managed to pass it, this certificate. So I picked up the phone. I gave him a phone call um, just to congratulate him. And I told him, well, look, this is the very first step. Um, if you do a job search, not many or you probably wouldn't find any employer who knows this certificate. However, people in the know, people who work in penetration testing, they usually know about it. And even if you don't, if they don't, the information, the skills that you gained in this certificates are extremely valuable. So I told him you have two options now. You can either go and start Offensive Security OSCP, which is the gold standard for penetration testing. Or I told him if you enjoyed the style of Elan Security, there is another certificate that's a level up. It's called Elan Security Certified Penetration Testing Professional or ECCPT. Um, there is um, like there are there is a crossover between the topics in, in ECCPT and in OSCP. Uh, however, the style and approach is a bit different. So OSCP is really challenging because they throw the material at you and they expect you to do all the research, you know, do more research, figure it out on your own, which is not a terrible approach, not my favorite approach. Elan Security sort of have this hand holding approach where they'll tell you exactly what to do. The material they give you is sufficient. There is, you know, step-by-step -step guides. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not challenging. It's an extremely challenging certificate and it covers a lot of the topics that are in OSCP. Um, so I know some people who did the OSCP straight away. I know some people who did ECPPT and then did the OSCP. So it is your choice. So I told him, look, if you've really enjoyed the Elan Security Junior Penetration Testing Certificate, then this should tell you that penetration testing is a career for you. And by the way, that's not everybody. I know people 
people who say that they love penetration testing or love the idea of doing penetration testing but as soon as they start learning and studying they realize it's not really what they're passionate about maybe they saw it on tv maybe they thought they will enjoy it but penetration testing requires a lot of dedication a lot of passion a lot of research like some of the pen testers that i know they live and breathe pen testing like they are posting about it all day long they spend their weekend fiddling with new vulnerabilities and trying to exploit them it's a fun career i'm not gonna lie but it's not for everyone so he assured me that this is the career for him he really is passionate about penetration testing he also told me he does not enjoy his help desk scroll whatsoever and he'd really love to move to pen testing so i told him look you choose either elan security or oscp you will gain a lot of skills but this is a big step up so the junior pen tester was a nice introduction but ecppt or oscp is where things get real if he i told him if you do oscp i will help you get an interview and it's a very sought after certificate it does not guarantee a job there is no certificate that will ever guarantee a job however it will open doors and i told him once you spend you know three or six months or however long you take with the oscp and ecppt um, you will gain so much skills so he told me all right he loved my first advice and i told him this time just stay in touch keep me posted with your progress um, but then on he went he put his head down again and i actually didn't hear from him i think i heard from him eight months later and he told me he not only managed to pass ecppt he also did oscp which is a huge deal I've lost count of, of colleagues and friends who told me they were studying for OSCP and they never managed to pass it or they never managed to finish. It's a long, long certificate and unless you're passionate about uh, or penetration testing, you will not finish it. So he did it, he managed to finish them both. So I told him, all right, now I will help you. Send me your CV and I'll give you feedback on your CV and I'll help you to improve it and I'll help you land an interview. So I got his CV and it was it was not good. Um, in fact, I've got a video um, of me reviewing and improving a CV. You can look at it if you'd like. Um, I'll leave a link for it uh, on the side. So I improved his CV and I highlighted the skills he gained. So this is an individual who did not really have a pen testing experience in the traditional sense. So he didn't work in a company doing pen tests. However, I did, uh, I did highlight the fact that he's done the OSCP, he's done the labs in both um, Elon Security and OSCP. And within that, there is so much skills like, you know how, you learn how to, um, you know, you will know how to compromise web pages. You will know about web-based Tags, you will learn so many penetration testing tools and commercial penetration testing tools. You'll learn about vulnerability scanning. So really, it's all it's not about the piece of paper uh, that you gain in the certificates, it's about the skills. And this is an individual who kept on practicing. So I told him, all right, I gave him his new and improved CV, and I told him, go on seek.com, which is the Australian jobs website, and I told him, apply to every penetration testing job you see. Get used to getting rejected. We all get rejected. I still get rejected even after 17 or nearly 20 years of experience. It is normal. It is a numbers game. I told him I will also reach out to my network and try to see if anyone is hiring penetration testers. Now, you see, I didn't tell him, hold on, I'll get you an interview. I told him, you go on your own and I'll also go and we'll try to find the best possible opportunity for you. And it was near January, which people were on holidays last month. And, you know, um, it just takes time for companies and recruitment to pick up. And, um, yeah, in February, um, he was interviewing with two different companies and he managed to land his first uh, his first junior penetration testing role. I know I say junior, even though he passed OSCP, but if you do these certificates, you will realize even after passing those certificates, it is the beginning of your journey. So how to go from there for those who have already done the OSCP or ACCPT or ECPPT, the next steps, in my opinion, number one is to go to hack the box, create an account and start practicing. You've done the certificates, you've passed the exams. Now you need to practice as much as possible. Penetration testing is a hands-on role, so you need to get your hands dirty. This is step number one. Step number two, once you finish those certificates, there is just two things that stand out that will be your weaknesses. 
point number one will be Active Directory. So learning how to compromise Active Directory. Some people refer to it as red teaming, but that's a whole different topic. So to get some experience with red teaming or Active Directory exploits, there is a course from eLearn Security, but there is also a good course from Pentester Academy. So I'll leave a link for it as well for you to follow and see the, those courses. So you can do these courses, which are all very much uh, hands-on courses with labs. So you'll gain that experience, but expect to be asked questions about Active Directory when you interview for penetration testing roles. Almost every network penetration testing um, engagement you will get will touch upon those uh, Active Directory topics. So the other weakness that you will have is with web services. So OSCP and ECPPT and even uh, the junior pen testing certificates, they all touch upon web-based attacks, but that's on a very sort of superficial uh, layer. You can do a certificate in web penetration testing and that's a whole new course. So there's one from Elon Security. Look, there are a couple of courses from SANS. I do not recommend the SANS courses for penetration testing because they're just too expensive. So unless your employer is paying for them, the equivalent course from Elan Security is much, much cheaper. So just do that, get the skills and move on. Um, from there, like I said, you need to keep on your hands-on learning through maybe Hack the Box or even other challenges. Once you pass those certificates, you'll find yourself being a member of so many forums and so many online communities because when you get stuck, you'll start researching things and you'll find a lot of resources. From there, you will know what to do. Um, you can maybe specialize in mobile application pen testing or, you know, like the sky is the limit. It's up to you. But those are really the steps. Um, I don't want to hear that you're so passionate about pen testing and you can't get a job, show me what you've done. Have you done all these certificates? If not, put your head down and start studying. That's all it is. If that student can land his first penetration testing job, so can you. Don't think credential and certificates, think skills. And don't think that you need to learn, you know, Python and uh, Unix and networking before you start. No, you start learning penetration testing and you will pick up those skills on the side. I hope this was helpful. This is part of a series that I create for different um, career paths in cybersecurity. So I have another video about um, incident response and threat intelligence. So have a look at them. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already.